Okay, demonstration of the triple lift. It's a deadlift into a hanging clean into an overhead press. Here's the demonstration. From the floor to a deadlift, deadlift to a clean, clean to an overhead press. And that'll be the first move of the workout. From there, five reps of that. It'll go into a 200 meter run around our little dead end and back here. Then from that, we'll go inside. It'll be 20 push-ups, then 20 sit-ups, and then we'll do 50 jump ropes. And that'll be one round. This will be a four round circuit. All right, we're gonna hit this.
We should summarize the one we just went through. We just finished that. Uh, I know we said it was a three-part maneuver, but it really turned into a two. Because going from the deadlift into a power clean uh, just was a little too difficult, so it was easier to go from the ground into a power clean than an overhead press. So it really became a triple move into a double move, but it was still challenging, which was the whole purpose of that lift. I uh, was to go from a full range of motion from the floor to the ceiling. Uh, the run afterwards was actually kind of a good balance. As amazing as this is to say, it was kind of... You were able to catch your breath on the run, which just doesn't seem right, but at least for me worked. Uh, the 20 push-ups, so-so. I've been changing my hand position to make sure I get all the way to the floor, so my push-ups are a little harder to do than they were, but I'm getting a better range of motion. Sit-ups for me, as long as they're under 30, I never really struggle at too much. Uh, the 50 jump ropes was nothing too bad. We've worked on a lot of jump roping lately, so those weren't too bad. Uh, overall, that took me 22 minutes. I wish I could have gone faster, but the 95 pounds with having weaker upper body just was a little challenging to get up there, as you guys can saw in sets. I think it started in set three. I know in set four, I had to do one at a time, drop the bar, take a breath, get back to the bar, do a maneuver. So it was one and then a break, one and then a break, one and then a break. It seems like the break got longer and longer, so it kept going. It was a challenging workout. We're going to catch our breath now and then take, then do another workout. Uh, at, we're going to program another wad. We want to get 20 more push-ups, 20 more sit-ups done so we get to a full 100 on those. We usually do 100 a day. Um, so we'll turn back on the camera in a little bit and let you guys see that. Got anything you want to add about that workout? Sucked. Yeah, it sucked. Uh, so now we forgot that today's our max clean day, which means we're going to slowly, progressively go up in weight and more weight and more weight doing the clean lift, which is what we were just doing in the last workout, which if we realized today was max clean, we probably shouldn't have done. Um, we're going to start out saying we were doing 95 on the last workout. We're going to start out 95, work our way up each lift with 10 pounds until we get to a point where we can't lift it, back it down to a 5 pound, see if we can get that up and kind of work our way from there. Um, my personal record max clean is, what is my personal record max clean? 110? 110 pounds. Uh, that's pretty weak, uh, but I'm trying to get better at it, so leave me the hell alone. Um, so here we go with 95. gentlemen as you can see that's our max PR day for clean I hit a new personal record by five pounds I finally into the 115 Joey here hit a new personal record at 125 which is 
every plate in the house we have. So if we're going to do a personal record with him next week, we're actually going to have to go buy some new plates. Um, we're going to take a second, and then we're going to do a two-round, 200-meter sprint. Uh, we'll turn the camera around so you guys can see part of that. Just remember, we're not runners. Uh, speed is not really the whole thing here. It's to get our heart rate up as fast as we can. Um, it causes your metabolism, your system to just burn off a ton of calories as it calms back down. Uh, it's a good thing to end your workout with is just to, whatever gas you got left in the tank, just burn it off. No sense keeping any of it. Uh, then we'll go in, we'll make a protein shake, um, take a, a, a nice slow walk around the neighborhood to let all of our muscles kind of calm down, our legs calm down. You want to bring everything down slowly, bring it from superheated to warm, then let it cool down. And we'll take a creatine shake, and that'll be today's workout. So I will see you guys later. Two, one, go. By an inch. You beat me by a damn inch. <laughs>